Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we'll explore how therapists can leverage the power of Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly offers all kinds of creative possibilities for therapists to connect, educate, and engage with their clients. For example, you can use Doodly whiteboard videos to explain complex concepts, whether it's techniques, coping strategies, or self-care tips, Doodly's animated visuals can make your explanations more accessible and memorable. These are great for sharing on YouTube, your website, or even on social media. You can also use Doodly's characters and scenes to bring your stories to life, making them engaging and relatable for your clients. Doodly can also be an excellent tool for mental health awareness campaigns. You can create informative, compassionate videos to raise awareness about mental health issues and reduce the stigma surrounding them. Another thing you can use Doodly for is to create short, uplifting video messages for your clients, reminding them of their progress and offering encouragement in between sessions. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create a personalized progress report using Doodly. So we're going to pretend that this person here is a marriage counselor, and he's going to send a short video to his clients, Jack and Samantha. Since I'm using a mail for my therapist, I had to go over to Takia software and create my voice over there. Takia is a text-to-speech software program made by the same company that makes Doodly. And all I did was I copied and pasted my little script into this section here and I selected a voice. I chose male Donald and he's from the United States. So you'll see you can choose based on country as well. That's what I did and I exported it simply by clicking the export button. And now I just need to bring it into Doodly. So I'm going to go over here to sounds and take the little plus sign here and I'm going to browse for my files. Here it is. 46 seconds long. I'm going to place it into my timeline and I can go ahead and get rid of these scenes here. And here's my concept. We're going to have a title screen. We're going to talk about a communication journal, date night, gratitude exercise, and then we'll close with like his business card. What are we going to have for our title screen? Something like that. And then let's take another line here. I think just like that will be perfectly fine. So that's our opening. Okay, next, daily communication journal. Something like this could work. And again, I did find some graphics of my own, so I'm gonna bring them in. So they're gonna write down their thoughts and feelings, and they're gonna share them with each other. So thought we could do a couple of these graphics here, and then let's add some text here. Okay, so I'm just pretending these are some of the things they would be sharing with each other in their journal. Okay, next up, date night reimagined. And again, we could find a couple, which I have here, and you have them doing a date night type thing. Let's just go ahead and bring it in. Okay, and then for our last one, gratitude. Again, I want to upload, browse, and I have these two images, gratitude, that I found. I like this one, so let's just pull this one in. Okay, I don't think we need to do anything super fancy with this one. So for the closing, I just want a business card for our character, and I made a background in Canva for this. This is gonna be our therapist. And I also made a logo, do something like that. We need two more things. We need music and then we need to adjust the timing of the drawings and everything. So let's start with all the timing and some of the uh, animations here. So starting on scene one, we would like this to draw on, but I don't think three seconds is necessary. So we'll make it about a second and a half. I'm going to click the little pencil icon and I want to draw these on rather than have it scribble on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some work here. 
to draw these on. I'm going to make the path a little bit fatter and then a new one. Okay, so that's it done. Let's just take a quick look. Hello, Jack and Samantha. I hope you're doing well. Your emotional connection is growing stronger, and it's inspiring to see. I think we will have the homework already drawn on, and then this will come on. And so when he says, hello, Jack and Samantha, that's when he's writing Jack and Samantha. So I also want to kind of move the voiceover down just a little bit so that the timing will work out a little better. Let's try again. Hello, Jack and Samantha. I hope you're doing well. Your emotional connection is growing. And that should be fine. Let's add a little bit of seat time at the end of the scene. And you go to show preview. And then let's see on this next one. But there's still some work ahead. Here's your homework for this week. Take a few minutes each. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half extra seconds here before this scene starts. So let's go back to this one. And I'm going to add a bit of a delay. And then at the end of the scene, make this a little bit longer. And that should be just about right. And again, I'm going to click the little pencil icon. This time I'm going to have these fade on instead of draw on. You can draw those on if you'd like. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted the timing and some drawings and whatnot. Now let's just add some music and then we'll be done. So go to sounds, categories, music, and then just find something. Let's try this one for two. That's gonna be too long. So let's just go ahead and go to the end and shrink it down. So it doesn't just cut off. Let's right click, choose fade out, and then make it a nice slow fade if you'd like. And then it's going to be too loud, so go over here to the speaker and turn it down to about 10%. And that should be good. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and then we'll be done. Hello Jack and Samantha. I hope you're doing well. Your emotional connection is growing stronger and it's inspiring to see. But there's still some work ahead. Here's your homework for this week. Take a few minutes each day to write down your thoughts and feelings and share them with each other. Plan a special date night together doing something you both enjoy, and focus on nurturing your bond. Have fun with this. Each day, share three things you appreciate about each other. This simple practice fosters gratitude and positivity. These activities will deepen your understanding and compassion for each other, fostering a more fulfilling and harmonious partnership. Remember, I'm here to support you, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need guidance. I'm looking forward to celebrating your progress in our next session. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly in your therapy practice. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.